Hey, welcome to our scene on the George syndrome, represented by the George Washington Bridge. You can even see this sign over here, falling in the water. Okay, so we're gonna talk about what causes the George syndrome and what the symptoms are. All right, so here we have these two guys up here. These are the 22 twins on the George Washington Bridge, and they're gonna help to remember 22, chromosome 22. These are the twin twos for 22. They're very, very sad as you can see. Why? Because they dropped their favorite paper. This paper says 22Q11. Okay, for the sake of the story, you're just gonna have to remember 22Q11. This paper, for some reason, has tremendous sentimental value to them. 22Q11. This can help us remember that in DeGeorge syndrome, there's a 22Q11 microdeletion on chromosome 22. What does this lead to? What else did they drop? So we see that they dropped their ferro pouches. They love these ferro pouches. They're like fanny packs, sort of. That was, remember, the pharyngeal pouches. The three and four pharyngeal pouches. The 22Q11 microdeletion leads to a failure to develop the third and fourth pharyngeal pouches. This is because there's a defect in neural crest cells, and this leads to the symptoms seen in thymic aplasia. Most notably, let's take a look. There are, they also dropped their favorite Thai mouse. Their Thai mouse they dropped. They love their pet Thai mouse, right? And it has a par they always have parrots on top of them. The Thai mouse is going to help us remember the thymus, and the parrots for the parathyroid gland. Since there's a defect in neural crest cells, the thymus, represented by the Thai mouse, and the parrots, the parathyroid hormone, will not develop properly. In fact, they'll be absent. Since the thymus is responsible, for differentiation of T-cells, there will be deficient T-cells. And since the parathyroid was responsible for increasing in calcium levels, there will be a hypocalcemia. We'll remember the deficient T-cells represented by the T going down, and the, ties, the mouse's tie is going to the T to help us remember that association. And over here we see the cheese going down. The cheese is going down, and you know what? You know what's happening with the cheese? It's also getting lightning on it. The lightning is helps remember the tetany, the involuntary movements seen in a person with hypocalcemia. Hypocalcemia leads, leads to tetany because there's an easier time to fire an action potential. And here is the heart, and the heart is actually getting struck by lightning from the cheese on the aorta. This helps remember the aortic defects due to improper crest migration and other cardiac defects. So for that, we'll have the heart exploding. And finally, we come to this sign over here. This sign was mainly to help us remember that we're talking about the George Washington Bridge, but you'll see that there's a mouth over here, and the mouth is getting cut right through the middle. To help us remember, the cleft palate often seen in the George syndrome. Do you see that this sign here actually has a shadow? It has a shadow, but, but wait, the shadow goes away. The shadow actually goes away, it disappears. To help us remember that the thymic shadow is absent on CXR. All right, that's our scene on thymic aplasia, the George syndrome. I hope these kids guys were okay over here. All righty, take care.